Hello, it's Stacy here, and we we, have, we need to talk about a serious problem, and I I might be ranting about it again because I our voices need to be heard about computer technology and how it's go how we're advancing backwards in technology because of these three criminal company bastards. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Apple, Google, Microsoft. You're all run by criminals, mm -hmm. and this. And the way you treat your customers has got to stop. Mm -hmm. Really has. Mm -hmm. Because it's out of control. I've, every time I've been using Google search mm -hmm. to search for new things that I haven't searched for before, I get less and less results every single time. Pretty soon I'm going to get no results at all. Mm -hmm. And I think that's actually already happening. That's what I'm going to title this video as. But... This has got to stop. We need we need to revert our search engines' capabilities to the way they were 15 years ago, when they were much more capable, when they actually did give you results. <laughs> and, and my mother's telling me that I have to like put things in quotes to make to make it work with the words. Because guess what? Whenever I search for something, it it tries to recommend not using the keyword. That's really important in my search. But the word that it knows is really important in my search. <laughs> because... I don't know why they want to... Why they want to... Just, like... N why they want to, like, ignore the key terms in your searches on the internet. But it's out of control. It has to stop. <laughs> and, and as I was saying, my mother told me that... Putting it in quotes is is the way to get it to, to to work again, but I doubt that'll actually happen. I doubt it'll actually work. And I don't think that it's necessary to put quotes in a search when you're searching for something. I never had to do that in 2006, so I never should have to do it in 2021. Bring back the good internet from 15 years ago. Bring back... The internet that actually worked. Mm -hmm. And we need to throw these people out of these companies. And last night when I was brainstorming ideas for this video, I might actually say this, something that I usually don't even say at all, but these CEOs need to be thrown in jail. Mm -hmm. Something I never say to anyone except for people who are absolutely the worst. <laughs> this means you too, Tim Cook, who's been an absolute failure in Apple. Steve Jobs looks down from heaven and is disappointed in him, ashamed at Tim Cook. <laughs> That's what happens. After like, I know Apple Silicon was a great innovation, but it was also corrupt in a way in many ways, too, with it. You, you know, I think that ball gritter rice sockets and computer processors should be illegal. Because, you know, the, the government thankfully did pass a bill, meaning things have to be repairable, but ball gritter rice processor so sockets make it unrepairable, basically. We need to go back to the old days of computing, when we didn't have all the problems we did now. Like search engines trying to, like, make it harder to find your results by, like, crossing out keywords. And this happens not just on Google, but on Bing. Even on, it even happens even more on Bing. You need to get your priorities right, you tech, tech bastards. Because if you don't, our world is just going to start becoming having less and less technology as things work with this momentum. First, we'll, we'll have no more internet, we'll have no more... no more television, no more phones, no more radios. And it goes beyond electronics. Eventually, we'll have no more cars, planes, trains, buses. And guess what? This also means no more vaccinations. Meaning no more measles shots, no more chickenpox shots, no more 
to finish those thoughts. And yes, no more coronavirus shots. All this we could, all this could happen if we continue making technology go backwards. <laughs> all of it. All of this could happen. You really want to live in the Stone Age again? Tim Cook and all of your friends at the other companies who are not competing against you. Yeah, these three companies are actually working together. And Apple, Microsoft, and Google are not competitors. They're actually working together mm -hmm. to make the technology a bad thing. So here we are down at Crestwood again after a long summer of not walking down to the station. This is a really important issue of technology that needs to be solved. And that's why once Alder Lake comes out, once once I'm done working on this, the school and trading card businesses in the Drake Foundation, that's what, when I'm going to be fixing technology. Cooperating with a, with a with a less popular operating system that's less corrupt than, than Mac, Android, or Windows, or Chrome. And I urge groups of 10, many groups of 10 tech, tech people in the world to, to set up tech companies that can, that can do the right thing and stop what Google, Apple, and Microsoft are doing and, and stop those companies. That's going to be it. Bye.